Let's try that again. This is take two, right? For those of you who need a wheelchair, it is a great device to enhance your mobility, but it needs to be the appropriate wheelchair to gain the benefits. Here to help with that is Bruce Filler. He is the owner and director of the Columbia Rehabilitation Clinic. Bruce, thank you so much for being My with pleasure, us. Thank you. Good to have you here. So many people in our community do need a wheelchair, whether it's because they cannot walk at all or it just enhances their mobility for whatever reason. When somebody comes into your clinic, what is it you're looking for to make sure they have the wheelchair that best suits their needs? Well, there's many things, Dondi. Um, if a person comes in with certain disabilities, they need a special, specialized rehab chair. Uh, for instance, a spinal cord injured patient would need something much more intricate and that has reclining seats and uh, mm -hmm. rec reclining uh, elevating seat le uh, leg leg rest, etc., sure. as opposed to someone who just needs a standard wheelchair. So there's a lot of measurements we do to make sure that they're measured correctly and they have the right chair ordered for them. Tell me about the two chairs we have here. Let's start with this one. This would be more of a basic, well, not as basic as it gets, right? Right. There's a standard chair you can go to a drugstore and get, and uh, you don't need a prescription for it. And it's for someone with maybe a broken leg or something like that, and needs a chair for a short period of time. Right. This is a, a specialty. Uh, manual chair which is measured to the patient you can see the back is lower the wheels are different it's made out of different lightweight material and it would be for a spinal cord injured patient like a paraplegic or someone uh, amputee or someone who's going to be in a wheelchair for a longer period of time and then this chair has many more bells and whistles in fact you're talking the price of this being close to what you would pay for a vehicle now, this chair could run anywhere from twelve thousand dollars up this is a specialty rehab chair it has elevating uh, leg rest, the seat goes up, the seat reclines, the seat tilts, it has a horn, it used to have lights. So this is for someone with uh, maybe a quadriplegic, a spinal cord injured patient, someone with uh, a myotrophic lateral sclerosis or a neurological patient who needs to have the pressure taken off their backside or their back. That's mm -hmm. why the seat would go up and elevate. So you you look at the person and you're going to do an evaluation. So that's a little bit about some of the chairs, but you look at specific things. And in fact, you have a, a clinic once a month that people can go to. And one thing you look at is posture evaluation. Explain that. Right, well, more so we look for a patient's range of motion and strength. We check their range of motion of their upper extremities and their mm -hmm. lower extremities and their strength to see if they can use a manual chair as opposed to a chair that has one like this that has a joystick. And sometimes people even have a, a puffer put on where they have no strength in their hands and they need a puffer where they run it, actually run it through their mouth. Sure. So there's all different kinds. And when you look at uh, another part of the evaluation is called pressure mapping. What is that? Well, pressure mapping is extremely important. If a pa mostly these are patients who are paralyzed from the neck or waist down. Mm -hmm and they can get bed sores very easily Absolutely. if they're sitting in the same spot. So we map their pressure to right. see what kind of uh, cushion they need. There's many different kind of cushions. There's mm -hmm. gel cushions, air cushions. This will measure the uh, pressure points, mm -hmm. and then the, the seat cushion is made appropriately to take the pressure off those spots. So, Bruce, I mean, if I, as I feel this, I mean, this is terribly comfortable, very much so, but you're saying that kind of person would, would need to even have something additional, some kind of padding, extra padding or well, gel put in there? Well, no, this, this could be the one they use, mm -hmm. but to take the pressure off, if you elevate and, and recline the seat, the pressure now goes on their back instead of on their, low, on their bum side, their, their, their right. buttocks. Right. So that's the reason for a chair like this that would elevate and recline. Okay, and you also offer wheelchair training because as I look at this, this is a whole system. It's like getting into a vehicle and needing to know how to drive it. Let me give you the information here about these uh, clinics. It's a mobility clinic. If we can pull up that full screen, this wheelchair seating and mobility clinic offers a posture evaluation, a wheelchair evaluation, a pressure mapping evaluation, and wheelchair training. It's every Thursday, not just once a month, once a week, every yes. Thursday at 1 p.m. at the Columbia Rehabilitation Clinic. That's located at 2362 Two Notch Road in Columbia. You must have an appointment, so call the number on your screen, 799-7007. If someone already has his or her wheelchair, they could still call you to have you evaluate how they're doing. Absolutely. We could check and make sure they're in the right, uh, right chair. Okay, Absolutely. well, you are a highly trained physical therapist, so I know that they're in good hands with you. Thanks so much for Thank helping those in our community who use a wheelchair. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. More Soda City Live right after this.